Tonight, moments ago, we might have seen an upset at a Bryan City Council meeting over that charged topic of zoning for manufactured homes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jay O'Brien. And I'm Gabriela Garcia. At first, it looked like the ordinance to restrict the zoning of manufactured homes passed. Now there's a change, a formal protest signed by residents may get in the way. The protest needs to be verified to count. Casey Bowen was at that meeting and is going to break down for us exactly what that all means. Yeah, yeah, guys, that protest has to be verified, which will go through the city's secretary's office, meaning that even though there were enough votes for that ordinance to pass tonight, it's still not official. And while even if that verification happens, there were still too many no votes for it to pass. And there's no timetable on when we'll know that. Many people in the meeting tonight voiced their concerns and opinions. 24 in favor and four against. One was uncertain. Those who were against the proposal saying it will reduce lower income housing, adding things that like, quote, where is the justice? And quote, just because I earn less doesn't mean I deserve less and pleaded with the council to not vote for this proposal or to simply listen, postpone the vote and engage with the community to have a conversation. Many saying the whole process has been rushed. This isn't a plan to help people, it's a plan to get rid of people. Please don't confine me or toss me out of town. But then it was the city's, sir, city's turn to talk. The Planning and Zoning Committee came to the podium and said that they've been working on this for over six months, adding that eliminating this mixed use zoning may add opportunities for affordable housing. As you maintain that mobile home, you can live there for as long as you like, as long as it meets code, just like a stick built home. Then once that home has reached the end of its service life, you can swap it. You Even city council members saying that this was a tough decision to make. But so far, as of now, it's a kind of waiting game for whether or not this protest will come back verified. We'll continue to update you with the latest information as we get it. But for now, live in Bryan, Casey Bowen, KAGS News.